Welcome back to the channel, Movie Splash. Today's recap is about a 2022 action-adventure animation called Chainsaw Man. Spoilers ahead. Watch out, and Happy New Year. The anime opens with Denji who just wakes up from his sleep. Denji is a young man trapped in poverty but tries his best to live his life. He walks to a nearby town and thinks about how he can receive 60,000 yen a month for cutting down trees. He recently sold his kidney for 1.2 million yen and his right eye for 300,000. Turns out when Denji was only 6, he was left with a significant debt by his suicidal father. He partners with Bochita, the chainsaw devil who resembles a dog, as a devil hunter to pay off the loan. Denji tells Pochita about his desire to lead a quiet life and find a mate after accomplishing a job for a Yakuza leader. The boss assigns Denji to work at an abandoned warehouse, where he discloses that his gang has joined forces with the zombie devil, who is responsible for dismembering Denji. As Denji's blood pours into Pochita's mouth, Pochita appears to Denji in a dream, promising to become Denji's heart in return for witnessing Denji fulfill his wish. Denji faces the zombie devil now that he is whole again. He can change into a devil-human hybrid form by pulling Pachita's pull cord, which is now on his chest. In this form, he can sprout chainsaws out of his head and limbs, which he uses to slay the zombie devil and the Yakuza zombies. The carnage is discovered the next morning by a team of public safety devil hunters. Denji requests that Makima give him a hug which causes him to return to his human form. To Denji's great joy, she offers to keep him alive as a human and feed him. Denji and Makima reach the Devil Hunter's headquarters in Tokyo after eating at the rest area. During the patrol, Aki and Denji argue, with Aki arguing Denji to leave for his own protection, and Denji thinking it's because Makima is Aki's love interest. When Denji and Aki come back to Makima, she instructs them to cooperate. Denji comes to the realization that he needs a purpose to work toward when Aki criticizes him for treating his job carelessly. Back at the main office, Makima introduces Denji to a new partner by the name of Power and informs him that Power is a fiend. Denji leaves with Power who turns out to be irritating after Makima speaks about the fiends and their experimental squad which will be disbanded shortly. Denji believes Aki was attempting to have him fired and had him set up. Power notices a sea cucumber devil as they are looking for demons, smells blood and immediately begins to flee. She leaps from the building and uses a blood-forged hammer to slay the devil. When Makima intervenes to stop Denji and Power from blaming each other, the ensuing killing draws attention from the public. She advises them to cooperate and to avoid taking more risk. Denji begins flirting with Power in an effort to get along with her, and Power notices it. In exchange for letting Denji touch her chest, she instructs him to free her beloved cat Miaoi from the clutches of the Bat Devil. After they both agree, Denji grants them both a leave of absence for a few hours so they may find and slay the demon. They both arrive at an abandoned home where Power knocks Denji down and reveals her plan. To give him to the Devil in exchange for the release of her cat in order to cure his wounds. Bat Devil squeezes blood from Denji. Instead, he eats the cat and power and then moves towards the city in search of more food. Denji manages to live, grabs hold of him and crashes him in the city after pulling out the chainsaws. But after a protracted struggle, he is defeated. He destroys the demon by ripping through his guts thanks to power's promise of bonding, releasing power and Miaoi. A power who survived the battle with the Bat Devil is so impressed with Denji's fortitude that she allows him to fondle her melons. But then the leech devil appears out of nowhere, cutting Denji's arm and devouring it. Denji tries to change into the Chainsaw Man, but the previous fight's lack of blood hinders a complete transition. Instead, Denji develops only a little chainsaw on his head. Denji continues to fight Leech while keeping his dream in mind, dealing some damage to her in the process. However, he is outmatched and just as he is about to be put to death, Aki shows up and destroys the leech with the enormous fox devil. 
Like a flashback, Aki describes he was able to reconnect Denji's limb following a blood transfusion and talks about the deal he made with the fox devil. Denji concurs and Makima gives Aki permission to keep them alive. Chaos results since Power now also dwells in Aki's apartment as a result of this. Power keeps her word to Denji that evening to his joy. Makima maintains that Denji's lackluster reaction to touching Power's chest is due to his incomplete understanding of his partner. Denji is rendered dumbfounded as she continues to physically torment him and enables him to touch her chest. The Gun Devil is a potent monster that has killed more than one million people, including Aki's family, and she then promises to grant him any wish in exchange for slaying it. Denji, Power, Himeno, Aki's lifelong buddy, the timid Kobeni, and the independent Hirokazu Arai try to neutralize a devil. Himeno encourages the rookies by promising a kiss on the cheek to the first person to defeat the demon, rewarding Denji with a French kiss if he succeeds. The gang discovers a walking head on the eighth floor, which Power easily dispatches, and Himeno discloses her agreement with the ghost devil which gives her access to a strong, unseen hand. They quickly understand, though, that they are pinned to the ground. Aki finds that all the clocks in the floor have totally stopped, indicating that the Devil Hunters are completely shut off from the outside world while they search for methods to escape. They start gathering resources as a result in order to survive. Himeno admits to Denji that she was the one who got Aki to start smoking, after she was slapped by the enraged girlfriend of one of her deceased partners. She also says that despite being a devil hunter, she is aware of Aki's desire to live a long life. When Aki enters the space again, she explains that the devil they earlier destroyed has gotten bigger. They can leave the floor if they give Denji to the huge mound of flesh known as the Eternity Devil. Denji is attacked by Kobeni, but Himeno and Naki stand up for him and promise not to harm him. The devil becomes larger with time and turns the entire floor vertically as Kobeni and Arai's anxiety intensifies. A panicked Kobeni lunges with a knife at Denji, but Aki steps in and is stabbed instead, wounding Aki. Denji jumps towards the devil's mouth, prepared to rip out its insides. As Power tries to staunch his bleeding, Denji reasoned that the devil is scared of his chainsaws. Denji starts ruthlessly tearing off the Eternity Demon's insides, but the devil keeps tearing Denji apart as well. Denji, however, continuously replenishes himself by ingesting the blood of the devil. Himeno recalls visiting the graves of her former teammates with her mentor Kishibe, who informed her that the most rational hunters eventually pass away and said that Aki was a little insane for wanting to kill the gun devil after witnessing Denji's craziness. She offered Aki a private room in a restaurant in an attempt to stop him from slaughtering it, but she was unsuccessful. When Himeno returns to the present, he is relieved to learn that Denji, who is deranged, can slay the gun devil without endangering Aki's life. Three days of non-stop Denji eventually brings down the devil, who gives his heart to put an end to his misery. The crew heads to a restaurant to get to know one another after killing it. When Himeno offers Denji his kiss after being extremely inebriated, she pukes in his mouth. Himeno brings Denji to her apartment after he passes out because she is still inebriated and wants to spend time with him. Denji declines Himeno's attempts because he is reminded of the previous evening, when Makima offered him an unintentional kiss through a lollipop. Himeno requests to be friends with Denji the following morning after she had grown so inebriated that she had forgotten everything. Denji promises to assist Himeno in meeting Aki in exchange for assistance with Makima. The Tokyo Public Safety Devil Hunters are closing in on the Gun Devil, so he has planned an attack to annihilate them. Makima is shot while traveling to Kyoto while citizens of Tokyo slaughter Devil Hunters with illegally obtained weapons. The Cursed Devil's powers help Aki fight the Katana Man, but when his partner Akane Sawatari assists him, he falls victim to him. The Ghost Devil emerges in plain sight, takes possession of a dying Himeno's body, and overpowers Katana Man. 
While Himeno has completely vanished, Akane appears to slay the ghost devil by using the snake devil to swallow the majority of it, rescuing Katana Man in the process. One of the ghost devil's hands pulls Denji's ripcord, awakening him after he was devoured by the snake devil. After battling Katana Man, he is finally cut in two. Denji's torso is being moved to a vehicle by Akane, Katana Man, and their allies. After slaying her attackers, Makima is found to have survived and has arrived in Kyoto. She instructs Kurose and Tendo, whom she meets in Kyoto, to gather death row convicts to a high altitude shrine. Akane's gang members begin to spontaneously detonate one by one at the van, leaving just Akane and Katana Man standing. When Akane seeks to confirm Makima's demise, she concludes that Makima is to blame for the explosions that started on their own. At the temple, in the meantime, Makima commands the prisoners to pronounce the names of the gang members, carrying out a rite that kills both. When Kobeni shows up to the van, he uses a knife and a gun to defeat Akane and Katana Man. Kobeni apologizes to Denji for trying to murder him when they escape in the van, and she sobs over Arai's passing and how the work is breaking her emotionally. Back in Tokyo, Makima learns from Madoka that special divisions 1 through 4 would be merging as a result of the losses, from which the majority of the survivors were non humans. When questioned if she predicted the current assaults, Makima remains silent and departs with Kurose and Tendo. When Denji and Power visit Aki in the hospital, they inform him that the only other survivors of the attack were Kobeni and Madoka. Prior to Kurose and Tendo's arrival to request his report and determine if he wants to continue serving, Aki laments the passing of Himeno. Kurose and Tendo urge that he can enter into a new agreement with a more potent devil, because the Fox Devil has now refused to cooperate with Aki and he claims that he wants to get revenge on his family and Himeno as well. Himeno's sister pays Aki a visit after that and shows him letters of her attempts to save Aki from his work that Himeno had sent home. Makima brings Denji and Power to a graveyard to meet with a devil hunter from Division 1, who turns out to be Kishibe, Himeno and Aki's trainer. By constantly slaying Denji and coming dangerously close to executing Power, this self-styled strongest demon hunter starts training them to become stronger. Kishibe sends them home after a full day and several fatalities. The following day, Denji and Power meticulously plot a trap for Kishibe, but this time he defeats them with ease. Aki is taken by Tendo and Kurose to a prison where all the devils who have been captured are kept alive, where she instructed to enter into a contract with the future devil. Without expecting anything in return, the future devil grants Aki his power since he witnessed a glorious death coming to him. Kishibe's preparation pays off since he just sustains a single scrape. He informs Denji and Power that a big attack against the Yakuza branch connected to the Gun Devil is being planned by the whole Special Division 4 and other public safety divisions. When Makima meets with the Yakuza boss in Tokyo, she learns every name of the Gun Devil's Yakuza collaborators and uses that information to rule out a number of them from her present locations. Kishibe prevents any police or normal devil hunters from accessing the Yakuza hideaway as the remaining special division men enter. He also describes to them their individual talents. The devil hunters battle through the horde in the basement packed with zombies left over from the bargain the former Yakuza chief made with the zombie devil. Aki and Denji go up to deal with Sawatari and the sword devil hybrid, while Power, the shark fiend, the violence fiend, the spider devil, and the angel devil remain below to clear the swarm. When Sawatari and Aki first meet, she summons the ghost devil with her snake devil and turns it against Aki. Aki is able to hold off the Ghost Devil for a while thanks to the Future Devil's ability to see into the future, before being engulfed by its numerous arms and put in a chokehold by it. By letting go of his fear when he thinks about Himeno, Aki is finally able to approach the Ghost Devil without being repelled and chop off its head. Akane uses the Snake Devil to try to kill Aki, but Kobeni shows up and grabs hold of her. 
When Aki inquires about Kobeni's decision to remain with public safety, she says that the incentives would shortly be awarded. On a train, Denji battles Katana Man. To defeat him, he uses a chainsaw blade that has sprouted in his leg. Aki and Denji compete to kick Katana Man's nuts the hardest in order to make him scream the loudest before turning him over to the authorities. Before Akane can divulge any details about the gun devil, the snake devil forces her to commit suicide and executes her. Makima then says that by combining the gun devil flesh they found during the operation with what they already had, they would be able to locate the gun devil. In a dream, Pochita's voice warns Denji not to open a door he sees in an alley. A woman wonders aloud if Denji would prefer to live in the country or the city. That is all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for many such videos. Thanks for watching and take care.